All right, my beautiful people. So this video is what you guys have been waiting for. This is one of two. Thank you guys for getting us to 25,000 subscribers. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. After I share this video, you guys are going to see, we're going to go through LoopNet and we're going to show you guys, you know, I already have, this is every property. We'll go state by state and we'll look at a few, but again, this is very difficult. So <clears throat> this title is zero clickbait uh, and you guys are going to understand by the end of it, it's really accurate. You know, the only key is there's just not a lot of these properties for sale that meet the criteria that banks are willing to give these zero down loans to anybody. And that, that's, and I'm not exaggerating. You could have the worst credit in the world. You could still qualify for this loan, bankruptcies. You could even have no job or income, uh, believe it or not. So you could be 18 years old and in high school and <laughs> you could still pull this off. But <clears throat> before I get into that, click on the latest video, any of the videos, if and only if you have not subscribed to the new channel, you'll find it here. This and what I mean by new channel, this is our live streaming one. I'm going to go live on this tomorrow. We're going to do stock trading uh, while the market's closed. So we're going to do some real estate stuff, but I will be on or just go to the main channel anywhere here. You guys could click it. So there it is. I have to say that before everything, just because, you know, we're in that transition and getting buddy on board. But now this is real. How to get a property with zero down and you a commercial property and you know income producing one and it doesn't matter if you have zero credit or no income now why the key i'm going to show you guys what it is and now this is a loan program offered by almost any of the big banks just a lot of people are not aware of it and then even if you know some banks don't offer it or you can't find one i know chase has it um and I'm, i know <laughs> i figured this one out through chase private banking so if you have a certain amount of money you get access to certain things but i when i i inquired i said wait can anybody do this i said do i only get access to this loan because i'm a private banking customer no and i found out a few other banks i did inquire and they're available so you can get this from banks because here is what everything boils down to. It is not about acquire, you know, qualifying a borrower. When you guys get a normal loan, the bank is looking to see how much money you make, what your income is, your debt to income ratio, all that. In this case, the whole goal is to qualify the property. So if you find a property instead of the borrower, like I'm saying, you could have no job, no income, no nothing. But if you find a property that's producing a net positive return, the bank will loan on it. Now, it's not just any property. So this is the first filter. Now, this is how you guys could find out what is available and how to do this. And now the whole thing I said, this is straight from the real estate course. So you guys, it's in the link below. If you've been following my Instagram, I've been dropping out some of the 50% off codes just only because people have reached out to me. I said on stream, I want everybody a part of this. Again, if you guys really are serious about investing, we want to have a huge network and syndicate for people to be able to combine deals, work with each other. And even then, we have a bunch of agents. We have loan officers. We have it all. And it's just a network. It's not like they're all through us. It's, again, you know, they all have different of their own companies. But the networking brings in a lot of cool stuff. So check out the real estate course. But in general now, this is the – I'm going to show you guys the filters you need to do. But now let me tell you this. Once you see the filters we put – the properties are going to disappear because it's not too many. Because again, the question is, why would anybody sell these properties in it? <laughs> again, they all produce income. But what it has to do, the first criteria for this loan program, it has to be minimum five units. So you cannot do this on a duplex. You cannot do this on a triplex. You cannot do this on a single family home. So right away, five units or more, what happens? Now you're literally, you're down to not too many properties here. So let's let's zoom in. I'm going to start with Nevada, and this is one because I'm actually looking for one here, and this is a good area, so it's a decent part, you know, not everywhere is Vegas, oh, there you go, it's popping a little bit more in Vegas, you're seeing, maybe we should just go straight to Vegas, let's look there, but five units, you see, at the end of the day, that's not too many, um, believe it or not, this is all of Las Vegas, so now, the next thing, this is how the loan works, you could select any cap rate you want, and now it's all based on cap rate, but cap rate is essentially the after your net income it's how much money you're making on your your money it's your or your initial investment your yield so if you pay a hundred thousand dollars and again it's not a lot of people confuse cap rate with market value of the property that's one if you're going to sell it but it's really the price you paid your initial investment so if your property if you bought it for a hundred thousand dollars let's say and after all expenses and now here's the key net expenses so we're going to go through and i'll show you some examples Different properties have different expenses, but the main ones, you know, taxes, insurance, 
and just general maintenance, sometimes sewer, water, all that stuff. And then a, a lot of times people forget, you know, maintenance on, on some of these properties. But all of this and, and management too, that's a big one because you guys see, I, we buy properties everywhere. We just purchased about like eight or eight or 11 properties in Indiana not too long ago. I've never been to Indiana in my life. We have people who manage them. So you factor in that fee, but after all of your expenses, how much money do you make every year or every month? But the cap rate is telling you, it's saying yearly, what is the percentage of your money you're making after all expenses? So let's say you get a net NOI, a net operating income of $10,000 and the property costs 100,000 bucks. That means you're profiting, you know, just under a thousand bucks a month. Your cap rate is 10%. So that's an easy example, right? So if we wanted to try a more complex one and, and you know, we could go, actually, we'll see it. We'll go through there. But here's how the loan works. If it's five units or more, the cap rate essentially is going to dictate how much money the bank will give you. So if in, this is the, you know, every bank, it, it tweaks a little bit depending on the loan, but essentially your cap rate is going to determine your down payment. So in this case, a 5.10% cap rate, multiply that by 10. That's pretty much how much money they'll give you. They'll give you about, uh, what's it called? Oh, well, no, I have to see the net pretty much not the cap rate. Excuse me. This will be 51% down pretty much, or you'll need to put down the other 49% is what you'll need to put down. The bank will loan you 51, or you pretty much take the NOI, the net operating income, and times it by 10, and that will let you know what the bank will give. So essentially, if you want the bank to fund your purchase now 100%, sorry, my thing cut, cut out, but if you wanted to do zero money down, you would want a cap rate of 10. So now watch what happens when we do 10, because again, zero, literally zero properties exist. So look, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's not as if what I'm telling you is too good to be true. It, well, maybe depending on how you look at it, because there's not properties that exist like this, because why would anybody sell a property netting 10%? And it's just, again, and if they do look, it's so easy to purchase. Anybody could purchase this like it's 2006 or four, and it doesn't matter who signs for it. Because again, think from the bank's perspective, you guys could be flat broke, have the worst credit bankruptcies, all that. The bank is just saying, you're telling me there's a, and now here's the next key. The property needs a verified rent roll. And that'll make sense. We're going to look at one. We're going to find one and I'm going to give an example, but you need to have it rented essentially. So you can't buy a vacant property. So sometimes you'll see uh, a real estate agents will say, oh, it's expected uh, cap rate. No, that doesn't, the bank won't accept that. They want to see signed leases and a history of the money that's came in. It's because now think about this. So this is why anybody would qualify because when you do that, it, it, the bank is just looking at the property. They're saying, so this guy is going to guarantee to pay for it. You know, he's putting his credit, he'll take ownership, but he's paying, he's guaranteeing to pay the taxes. He's guaranteeing to maintain it. And then when they look, they say, what's your income? You're going to say, I make nothing. But then they're going to say, okay, but the property is generating, you know, positive 10% return. So any mortgage you put on that will be covered. And, and that's why this factor, it, it covers the 30 year mortgage in this type of commercial one, even with like a 4.75% interest rate. So it's, you're making 10% on the, on the property value every month uh, or every year, you're going to be able to cover it. So they verify that as income and that's your income now. So it's qualifying the properties. But now let's get to something more realistic. So we saw the cap rate of 10. Let's see nine. Ah, let's try cap rate of nine. Now this is going to be more realistic. Boom you literally get one. So now look at this. Now, this one's not that bad. Now, a lot of you may be like, Josh, I don't have $2 million. You could still get this. I'm looking. Ah, this is a great place, actually. Hold on. What golf course is that? See, I know Vegas. But now let's take a look. Let's see if it has what we're looking for. We need five units or more. So there's 22 units, which is great. This place looks dope, honestly. And you want it, the building class. Now, this too is going to be important because most, this is actually a very surprising offering. Honestly, I might actually look into this because usually the higher the cap rate, the lower the property class. And meaning it's just going to be in worse quality, needs updating. Now, that's, this might be a hotel. So if this is a hotel, then that is not going to work because that, that's what happens with a lot of people too. They look at their go, like, oh, can I do a hotel? That's what you'll find with the high cap rates. But no, it doesn't work like that simply because it's not a verified income. So here it is. Take a look. Here's your gross rental income. It's bringing in 450,000 other income, vacancy loss, effective gross income after tax and operating expenses. You're coming away with $213,000 a year. And it's saying it's actual. So again, we're going to, I'm going to click the attachment. I'm just scanning through this just to get to the point to show you 
in this case, multiply it by 10, the bank will give you $2.1 million. So in this case, if you guys wanted to buy this property, the amount of cash you would need out of pocket, take 2250123 minus what? 2133391. See, add another zero. $116,000. So if you could get your hand on $116,000 or you really want to be a degenerate and go get a hard loan, a uh, money loan or some credit line to pay this, you could get this $2 million property for $116,000. Out. That's what you need to take the keys and ownership. Now, you still are obligated to make the payment. If anybody, you get vacancies, you get anything like that, there's problems, maintenance, that's all your job. Again, this is why the bank is taking the this risk on it. It makes sense. So we could see the attachment. Um, that's weird. Please contact. Let's see. Let's see the attachment. This is how, see, they give it an offering and that's the best part. Executive summary, all that. It's just like a stock offering. It's just like any other investment. That's why I always say stocks and real estate go hand in hand. That's, you know, why do you think we have the real estate course? Why do you think I do real estate? You know, it's the same business, all of that. So real estate, please present this opportunity. Twice of 20 studio apartments. Uh, zone, oh wait, to own an H1 zone property featuring a transit lodging motel. Uh, so this is interesting. So this might be a hotel, you might be able to rent it, but really what I'm looking for here, again, and this is what everyone likes to highlight, don't, this doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, like this is all great cap rate, yada, 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 but we need the rent roll. If there's no verified rent roll, like all, all the pretty pictures, everything, actually I do want to see how close it is, damn, that's really close to the strip, I like this one, I just hope you could get, I just want to see, get to the financials. Uh, see, so there you go. This is the issue gross potential rent. And that's what I said. Everything's it's basing it upon uh, potential rent. See loan to value. They're saying 75, 75%. They're saying you get this for 25%. And that's just going to be a normal, uh, a normal one because a normal uh, commercial loan simply because it's not rented out. So if this had a verified rent rule, you would be able to get it for 116,000, but the bank won't accept this. It's all based on potential. And that, that, that should teach you guys something even about investing in general. So Let's go back. Let's see what we can find. But now once you get here, you go 8%. You're looking, that's 20% down is what you're going to need for that. That's going to get pretty, well, what do you mean there's not any of that, huh? No, 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 hold on. We got to we gotta back this up. How did we find one? What just happened? Cap rate 8? How come a 9% shows up, but not a... Okay, I'm gonna refresh this. Ah, there you go, all, all dates, I messed up on the dates. I was like, wait, what? So again, I think even at 8%, this, oh wait, there you go. So you see now, one, two, three, four. So look at this, and this is what I'm saying. And this one has been here, wow, this one's been up for a long time. This one's not too bad. I think this one you could get, uh, for good. I've saw this one actually. This is the one I liked. And this one still hasn't sold. This has been on the market probably since we in June uh last year, actually. Um date created, yeah, no way. But yeah, see, hundred percent occupants, long term tenants, hunt that there you go. You know, this they don't think they have a, a offering. You could just see through here, and here it is. Your net operating expense is three seventy. So pretty much you'll get three hundred seventy thousand. The properties 472, you would get this for a hundred percent, a hundred thousand dollars. So it, that one's not is not too good. Again, as you guys see, once you start creeping in the 80% range, it's just like a normal loan. But this is the key. So let's go again. You guys could go anywhere now. Let's go in the United States if we just start zooming out and let's switch it back to nine. I think nine's a good one, but even then, you guys go to like California, SoCal, you'll see there's not too many of these. Like, why does it keep doing that? I don't know why it keeps setting me off like that, but here you go, you guys, as you start seeing, most of them are like, I saw, I know this one, Commerce City, this is, oh, that's Colorado, I thought that was in California, like there's La Cuesta Park, there's some in the middle of nowhere that aren't good, and you know, it won't work, there's mobile home parks, I don't know if those qualify, 
uh, people have asked, but anything short-term leases or anything lease-based isn't going to work. And that's why, look at here, you'll notice the high cap rates, motel, motel, hotel, all across the United States, you're very rarely going to find the type of properties I'm saying. Now, do they not exist? No, they do. I think this is a good one in San Diego, um, a motel. Dang it. No, that one, wow, there was one that sold and it was, I know it was based on a potential, but there's there's few and far between that you're going to find. But if you guys even look at the East Coast and even places like, let's see, even Texas or San Antonio. San Antonio, you got anything for me? Yeah, apartments. There you go. And uh, that's Missouri. Well, let's look at this one. That's not bad. See, 12, this is probably going to be jacked up. C class. Uh, let's see. Comprising one building updated. Full mark. Uh, they're not giving any data. See, again, that if you don't have that, you got to get it from the agent. And that's the thing. Not all of this will be apparent here on LoopNet. So again, the key point of all of this is that you could go call people. If you ever find a property that meets these requirements, five units or more, and then net, and net operating income, if you, you don't have to be going for 90% down, 100% down. But if you want to go and get it to the point where, yeah, this property makes this much, it's this many units, understand the options you have available and how this part of this process of qualifying the property instead of the buyer works. So I think I'm going to leave it there to make it super, you know, I don't want to make it too complex, but do this for me, ask your questions and let me know what you guys think. How many of you were aware of this before? And if you weren't, Hey, if you guys start looking around, let me know and, and shoot some properties my way or you could secure them yourself if you want. But I, I, I'm glad to help out with these. If you guys need references to the loans and the banks, um, I could see. But again, you know, the information's there. You guys have it. You don't need any. You don't need me to refer you to anybody. You don't need anything. You could just start Googling this, look into it, call some bankers and ask around and, and they'll tell you what, you know, it's one of those things. If you know, you know, if you ask, you will get told. If you don't ask, nobody will tell you about this. So I love you guys. Thank you for 25,000 subscribers. Thank you for everybody on the streams and channel and everybody a part of the real estate course and our real estate team and all that. You guys are the best. And yeah, I love y'all. Peace.